the questions that probably most of us had when we heard about the Steam Deck was if we will be able to play games from other parties like Uplay, Epic or others. And considering the weekly free games that Epic is giving away, you probably have a decent library now and you were wondering if you can play those on your new Steam Deck. The short answer is yes. How to do that is a bit more complicated. First of all, keep in mind that there are actually two ways on how to do this. One would be to modify the native Epic Launcher app and the other one that I will show you today is through a third-party app that has been around on Linux for a while called Heroic Launcher. I will go ahead through the steps I've done in order to make this work, so let's get into it. First thing you have to do is to go into the desktop mode and look into this cover for the Heroic Launcher. It's an easy installation and once this is done, you can go ahead and log in into your Epic account. The next thing we have to do is to add the Heroic Launcher as a non-Steam game through the Steam app. This will allow you to find the app in the gaming mode of the Steam Deck. Once this is done, you can do pretty much everything you can in the Epic Launcher. Browse through your library, go to the store and even claim this week's game. Going back to the Steam OS, you can find the Heroic Launcher in the Steam library as a non-Steam application. You can already install your games, but we are not there yet. I'll link this procedure in the description with the files that you need to download. Basically, the next steps are to download this file called Legendary that we need to add in the settings of the Heroic app. Before we do that, we need to make sure that in the Permission tab we have granted the executable rights. Now we can add the legendary file in the settings and we can then test out if everything works. As a first test, we will use this game called Hue. As you can see, the game works perfectly even though we are in the desktop mode. And of course, it's not really an epic test if you don't try Rocket League as well. As I've showed you, this works great from the desktop mode, but let's go ahead and run the Heroic Launcher in the gaming mode and see if the games are working. And as you can see, Rocket League works with no issues. Normally we could stop here and play every game through the Heroic Launcher. There is however an extra step that we can do. Following again the link in the description, you can go ahead and download the Heroic Bash Launcher and keep in mind to use the Flatpak version. This will create individual script for each game you have installed from the Heroic Launcher and this will allow you to add them individually as a non-Steam game in the library. Once you've downloaded and unarchived the files, go ahead and run the setup script which will create running scripts into the game files folder. In order for the script to work, you will need to download flatcl from the discover and once you open it, all you have to do is to add in the file system the path of your heroic bash launcher. Or even easier but not as secure, you can just enable the old user files as you can see here. Now you should be able to add the individual scripts as a non-steam application, but for some reason for me it didn't recognize the files in the game file folder, so I had to manually copy the heroic bash file and the game scripts outside the game files folder. That solved the issue and I was able to add the games into the steam library. Going back into the gaming mode, you can see that Hue works perfectly with its individual script, but for some reason Rocket League only works from the Heroic Launcher. That's not a big issue, but please have this in mind. And as for GTA 5, I recommend starting the game first in the desktop mode, as you will have to log in into the Rockstar account, and then for me it worked in the gaming mode with both individual files and through the Epic Launcher. For the ending of the video, I'll leave you with some GTA 5 gameplay. Hope you find this video useful, this is Atekan Ravel and I'll see you in the next video.